Hey guys, it's the Monster here from the Monster's Garage, and I'm going to try and explain in simple terms uh, how this new laser alignment tool works from the guys at uh, Rolo or Outlaw. Uh, they have two names, not sure why, but <laughs> anyway, uh, I bought this kit a while back ago, and I am thoroughly impressed with it. Uh, when I first got my ST, I aligned it to BRP specs off the frame. And they actually have you uh, pull the wheels, you cinch down the rotor, you actually rotate the rotor three times and do an average of uh, your measurements in case there's any deflection or warpage in the rotor. So anyway, I went through all that uh, pain to adjust my my uh, ST when I first got it just to make sure the alignment was correct and once I got my laser kit I went ahead and uh, set it up just to check to see how close I was and I was really surprised disturbed and happy at the same time uh, that it was actually pretty far off um, if you look here I believe this was, uh, yeah, this was my left side. My left side was only a, a quarter inch off of uh, what we went, set our rear targets at. Uh, but the right side was actually an inch and a quarter off. Now, these measurements are based off being square with the rear wheel, and that's the big kicker right there. Um, originally, you align it with the straight edge from the frame, so now what we're doing is we're actually pulling off the rear wheel and then setting up our, our rear target here. And these front wheels will now be square with the rear wheels. And in addition, what we do is we check the toe in between each target. So I'm going to just kind of go through step by step how this works. It's a pretty cool deal. I've got... Well, by Tuesday, I'll have about 30, 30 of these under my belt, so I've done quite a few of them. Learned some things along the way that I'm going to go ahead and share with you. So, you get your spider, you pull it into the shop. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're, you're, you're well, let me see. Let me back up. I was going to say the first thing was to make the sure your handlebars are straight, but actually what you want to do is you want to make sure your uh, belt is lined up correctly on the pulley. It's not off to one side or the other because uh, you're going to be pulling your measurements off the rear wheel. So if the belt is off, and I just had one uh, last week where uh, I had to adjust the belt before I got started, uh, you want to uh, verify that. So if that's verified, uh, the next thing you want to do is verify your tire pressure. Uh, I had one guy come in here and my tire gauge didn't go low enough to read his tire pressure. Uh, the other one showed like nine and a half pounds. So you can do all this adjustment and that's not going to help if your tire pressure is off. So make sure you, you check that also. That's one of those one of those deals that just you assume is right, but it may not be. So you pull it into your shop. You go ahead and you put your handlebars as straight as possible. I like to roll the bike back and forth just to make sure it, it, there's no uh, torque on the steering wheel and uh, everything's straight. Sometimes there's so much stuff on the bars that you can't really tell what is straight or not. You can eyeball it. So it's a good idea to go ahead and go to Bud's and uh, just check your steering uh, angle sensor and see how close it is. If it's 0 0.25, 0 0.5, you'll see that often quite quite a bit. Uh, I don't worry about it. I just go ahead and go with it. If it's 0 0.75 and I and I'm sure that the bars are are straight, I'll go ahead and reset it before I start my uh, alignment. So the next thing we're going to do, and I've spelled it out in this little picture here. But basically what we're going to do is uh, you place a dot on the floor. So you're going to take your laser and you want to make sure this bubble is level here. And you're going to go ahead and shoot it down on the floor. And then just take a piece of masking tape and 
take a Sharpie, make a little mark on the sharp, Sharpie, drop that down on the masking tape. When you do that, um, you're going to do that on both sides. And what this is doing, it's giving you your spindle width. So we're finding out that all the spiders are a little bit different. I'll, I'll show you some of the difference. Uh, this is a little chart that we have. Uh, here's a GS 2008. Its uh, spindle is 64 and 7 sixteenths. Here's one 5 eighths. Here's a RS, it's 3 eighths. These are 64 and 3 eighths. RT, 66 and 3 eighths. Here's one is 66 and 3 sixteenths. Here's one 7 sixteenths. These are all 11 sixteenths. The ST, um, I've got two of them that I've been shooting. Uh, these were both uh, 63 and 5 eighths. And the one that I'm doing the video on is actually a, a ST also. Now, why do we do that? Well, it just kind of shortens up the step a little bit for you. If you pull in an ST and you shoot your spindle and it shows it's 63 and 5 eighths. And let's say the guy is a pretty big guy, aggressive rider. We want to set those outside targets to an inch and a quarter of toe because uh, you're going to have bump steer when they sit on the bike. It's actually the toe, it's going to actually toe out. So, this measurement actually allows for that. So, if I want an inch and a quarter of toe and I've got 63 and 5 8 spindle, I want to set my target, my rear target, 28 and an eighth inch off of the rear wheel. Uh, now, this is just a starting point. You're, you're going to check uh, your toe uh, afterwards, but this should get you real close to the ballpark. You might have to make adjustments one way or another. So, okay, we set this up. And we've done our spindle. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our front and rear uh, targets. And basically, once again, pointing straight down, you shoot the laser straight down. And we're going to go 74 inches to the front and 74 inches to the back. And that's where your target, the front of your target is going to be set. And basically uh, everything's going to be pulled off 148 inches overall toe. And the longer you go, the more accurate it's going to be. So this is a, this is a lot better than doing the, I think it was a six foot measurement before. So uh, very accurate way to do it. So, okay, so this is showing, this right here is showing the target uh, from the center of the wheel. It's 74 inches to my target. This is a front target right here. Okay, now on the ST, like I said, uh, 63 and 5 8 spindle. I went 28 and a quarter. I think that's right. Oh, okay, 20 and a quarter rear wheel to get an eighth inch of toe. So off of the rear wheel, I set up my rear target 74 inches from the center to the target, and then from the rear wheel to center here, I went 28 and a quarter. Okay, and this is showing the tape on the rear wheel where I'm where I'm uh, pulling that measurement for the target. All right, so we got we got the target set. So we got our rear set, we got our front set. Now we want to go ahead and rotate the laser. Now, when you rotate the laser, um, this is what you're going to see. Uh, it's typically going to be off. Sometimes uh, it's towed out on one side and and towed in on another side. Sometimes they're both towed out. Sometimes they're both, uh, the, the, the bike is basically crabbing down the road. Um, they're, they may be equal, but they're equally wrong. So this, this measurement here uh, kind of gives you an idea where you're at. Uh, I had one guy on a GS, his overall uh, measurement here was four inches off. And once we got him dialed in, he says it's never steered as, uh, as good as it does. Uh, he's picking up consistently on three tanks. He's picking up about 30 miles per tank more uh, now that he doesn't have the tire scrub that he had before. So basically, here's your this is your rear uh, target. 
you rotate it up and this will give you an idea what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move this laser to center by adjusting the tie rods <coughs> now when you're doing that what you're going to want to do, let's say you're working on the left side of the bike. On the right side of the bike, you're going to want to set this laser. You're going to want to rotate your, your uh, right side laser to the front. And then you're going to scoot this target over so that that laser is dead on on this line. And while you're adjusting the left rear target, you're going to want to keep that laser dead on on this uh, line here. Uh, on the right side. So that just gives you a visual to to know that uh, when you're making your adjustments because uh, if let's say let's say you're an inch out on the on the, the left rear you're gonna find if you if you bring it in a half inch this laser is gonna move a half inch so you have to put it back at zero and when you put it back at zero chances are it's gonna put that laser at zero on the on the rear target so this is a very important step. Make sure this thing stays on the line while you're doing your adjustment. Okay, so this is just a picture of uh, after the adjustment. Now we're going to assume that we've, we've adjusted our, our rear targets to the fixed uh, number. So let's say it's 28 and eighth or 28 and a quarter. So we got our lasers when we rotate it both lasers are dead on at 28 and a quarter in the rear. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate them to the front and we're going to scoot these targets so the laser is dead on center on both sides. So what you're doing now is you're establishing the, the front toe. We know the rear is square with the wheel because we've made those adjustments. Now we want to see what the difference is center to center on the front targets compared to center and center on the rear targets. What you're shooting for is you're going to want between between one inch and inch and a quarter toe in. So this measurement will be inch to inch and a quarter shorter or narrower than your rear measurement. Um, I spelled it out here. So let's say uh, let's say your front targets. Uh, you, oh, okay, you set your rear targets at 68 inches. So let's say you, you, you pull a measurement after you set your, your fixed measurement and it turns out to be 68 inches. And I always burn an inch off the tape rule just so you know you got a, a good accurate uh, measurement. So you burn an inch, it comes out to 68 inches. So what you're going to want to look for on the front is you're going to want 67 inches if it's an inch of toe or 66 and three quarter if it's an inch and a quarter of toe. So this is uh, this is your critical adjustment and just a little bit goes a long way. Um, one of the things that we have learned through through doing these, see I had a, I've, I've had this happen on two guys so far. Got them square with the wheel, got everything adjusted, got the toe perfect, and the guy takes it out and it's pulling to the left. First, I'm thinking, well, it's his imagination. He's just not used to everything being square. So I take it out. Sure enough, it's pulling to the left. So I check his suspension. Well, I'll check his tire pressure. Uh, tire pressure was good. Check his suspension. He had Elka suspension. And turns out that the uh, uh, preload on the, the shocks was not the same. One side was uh, had quarter inch more preload than the others. So I adjust that up. Check the dampening valve, uh, even out the dampening, so the dampening same. Take it out, still pull into the left. A little bit better, but still pull into the left. So I've run out of things to do. Now what do I do? The sucker's square, but it's pulling to the left. Well, uh, Mike at Rolo uh, has a lot of experience with this, uh, with cars, trucks, and spiders also. And basically what he told me to do was if it's pulling to the left, what you're going to want to do is you're going to put this laser just on the other side of the line to the right. At the wheel, it's like the width of two human hairs. It's not much. But just putting that laser, both both of them, the, the right one and the left one, just 
crabbed a little bit on the side of the line will take out that pole left or right. So if it's if it's pulling to the left, you put the laser to the right. If it's pulling to the right, you put pull the laser to the left, and uh, that'll fix it. It's a good trick, and uh, and it's consistently uh, works. All right. Well, this is what you get when you when you get all done. You get a happy uh, rider. Uh, this was showing how far off this guy's uh, ST was. This is this is zero right here. So this is where he started. Now the uh, the one side wasn't as bad, but it just makes a huge difference. It will it will turn better. Uh, you'll have even pressure going into the turns. It will track like it's on rail. It takes all the squiggly wiggly out of it, and uh, you'll be pretty happy. So anyway, this is Lamont the Monster Garage, and you can go to SpiderLovers.com on the front page. Uh, we have several guys that uh, are now doing the laser alignments. And uh, let me go there and show you, as a matter of fact. So we'll go down here. Uh, these are some of your deal. This is uh, Rolo. This is the dealer for the laser alignments. Uh, this is one of our uh, sponsors, another sponsor. So uh, Spider Pops is also another sponsor. But there's several guys uh, uh, branching out all over the country now that you can get this done. So. If you uh, want to find someone in your area, just uh, go to spiderlovers.com and check it out, and uh, we'll get you all hooked up. Thanks.